What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be changing the spark plugs on my 2015 Subaru Impreza. The Subaru recommends you change the spark plugs out at around 60,000 miles and that's pretty much where I'm at right now. So this is actually gonna be my first time ever changing out spark plugs uh, on a car and let alone on a Subaru. But I did watch a couple videos and it doesn't seem that bad uh, as long as you have the right tools. So I guess this will be good if you're also a beginner like me and need to make this change and don't want to pay the dealer. I think I saw online it's around 270 to get it done and with your own tools at home you can probably get it done for way less so that's what we're going to do today so here's everything you'll need to do the install so these are the plugs that come with the car originally these are ngk laser iridium so here's the part number for that i uh, will also put a link in the description i actually bought these off with rock auto here's what else you'll need then you'll need a three inch wobble extension uh, this allows the socket on here to kind of wiggle around you'll need a 10 mil socket for taking off the ignition coil. You'll need a 14 millimeter, either a deep socket, or in this case, I have a actual spark plug socket. So of course you'll need your ratchet as well. This is actually a 3 8 inch drive and it has a flex head. So these are really all you need for this, despite, you know, this being a boxer motor. Everything's on the side and all your clearance, it's, it's not very good. You get really close to the frame. You can definitely make it work. I've seen it done and it doesn't seem that bad. First things first, we're gonna get more clearance. We're gonna take off the battery. I think I'm good for this side though. On the stock cars, you have stock intake. You'll have to take that off to access the ignition coil down there. But in my case, I have a quarter intake and it shouldn't give me any issues. Now with the battery removed, we can see the two ignition coils there. Those are each 10 millimeter bolts, so we just gotta take those off and then we can take out the ignition coil. Now we have access into the spark plug holes. So I'm gonna do the front one first. Um, see if I can feel around for the spark plug here. All right, so I feel it clicked on. It's on the spark plug there. And we're just gonna break these loose. So just be really careful. Uh, you don't want it to break anything. This is where the flex head definitely helps. Get it locked, start loosening. So I'm just gonna do it by hand now. And then I believe the socket is magnetic. So it should just grab the spark plug out. No issues. There we go. Out. All right, so I'm gonna put the new one in now. I'm just gonna start it by hand and then go ahead and torque it down with the ratchet. Now the key here is not over torque this at all. That's gonna cause you a lot of issues. So just get them snug. Be crucial not to cross right these so it's good to do it by hand first. It may just take a little bit for it to get fully put it into the solder. So until we got it tight there. By hand. I'm actually gonna get the second one out first and then torque them down. What I heard is hand tight, snug, and then about a half of a turn with the ratchet, and then that should be tight enough. Of course, you know, if you had a torque wrench, definitely torque it down to specifications, but in this case, I don't have that right now. So, actually, for this last one, I saw that you have to put in the socket first and then the extension, otherwise, you probably won't be able to reach. Now you can go ahead and attach your ratchet. Break it loose. Disconnect the ratchet. Just make it loose to your right hand. 
That's just a task that you join at the end there just to get out the rest, otherwise it's gonna get stuck. All right, plug's gonna go in now. Again, hand tight. All right, the second one's in. Now we just gotta torque them down. I'm just gonna do about half a turn. I don't wanna over torque it. Go ahead and get your ignition coil back in where you had it. Slip it back in there. We're good there. Then you're not started back in, and then we can move on to the next side. So the process really is the same on the passenger side. You'll actually have a lot more room to work. So I'm probably not going to film this part, but pretty much if you have the stock intake, make sure you take it off. In my case, I have an AEM intake. I'm good on clearance. Well, that's pretty much it for the install, and uh, I'll, I'll give you guys an update once I'm done with everything. All right, so I got everything bolted back up, well, besides the battery, but overall, pretty easy install. Uh, I was dreading this because of all the mess I've heard about doing bar plugs on a Subaru, but uh, this was actually pretty easy. You just need the right tools. I can definitely say the flex head was one of the most useful things. Just when you're maneuvering around certain parts, it's easier to have this kind of bend. Also the wobble extension helps. Another useful thing was this spark plug socket. It has these, I don't know what it is in there, but it kind of catches the socket. So it's a lot easier to thread in. It has 12 points also, so it's easier to find where to place it. So definitely recommend getting a spark plug socket. I'll link it down below on the exact one I used. So I'll also share with you guys the video I watched on how to change spark plugs. Um, he has a cross trek, but it's literally the same thing. So I'll link it down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, might not have been a long video, but definitely a doable job at home. You just gotta have the right tools. Um, definitely good if you like to save money like me. Just do everything yourself. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. And I'll see you guys in the next one.